It's uh, a pleasure to be with you again uh, and to release a new product uh, of Visimix uh, in order to try to give more comprehensive ideas about the results you are getting with the software and how to connect to the real life and uh, to progress with the design operation in your plan in a good way. Um, uh, so, as we do normally for people that are new, and uh, to remind a little, we'll talk a few minutes about the company. After that, we will uh, uh, explain what is the meaning, what was the motivation for this uh, product. And after that, I will open and show to you how it's working. Of course, uh, in a, with some touch about uh, 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 how to operate the software from the beginning for people that are uh, new uh, in the uh, with the with the software. Anyway, after the presentation, we will elaborate and we'll send to you as normally our uh, um, the presentation and the, the video. So we're talking about process evaluation. Um, this is a new product that we'll discuss about, and it's some kind of a close way how to analyze and evaluate our projects and how to transfer our technology that we know from one point to other point can be in the pilot to production, from lab to production, or opposite to investigate some situations or to design a better way. Um, uh, as you know, we last year we talked about to take care about the coronavirus that was very had a very high impact in our life. Now we have uh, some progress, and we have, uh, I'm sure, with direct or indirect way from you the vaccine, and uh, I hope that the, the world will uh, progress uh, to protect, protect themselves in some way even if you are taking the vaccine or even if you are protecting yourself by avoid a uh, uh, connection. Anyway, we hope we are uh, at the end of this uh, very strange time and uh, we'll progress. And my, 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 my message to you is always that we will need you. We need you, you are uh, influencing this kind of uh, industry and of course in the, in the, in the health uh, field. Uh, directly or indirectly, it, it is the it is our job. So take care, people, and the world is uh, looking for your health too. And uh, today we'll talk about process evaluation, and the, the main thing is how, after we finish to do our job, to generate a very fast way uh, the data and to transfer our uh, knowledge in a good way to the rest of the company. And uh, uh, the, the first point is to explain a few minutes about Visimix. Visimix is a unique software, as you remember, we're talking about uh, models of uh, basic based in physics uh, models, um, circulation based in physics models that uh, try to connect between the flow and the mixing parameter and the process. And this bridge, this connection that it is happening through you is waiting for some kind of uh, parameters that are will, re will be representative about what is the environment you are generating to uh, 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 progress with your process in the, in the equipment. So, of course, your knowledge is the main important bridge uh, between this the process and the, and the equipment, but the parameters we need in order to evaluate it are coming from the software. Um, everyone can use the software, as you know, simple to use, the data get results. We will see that now we include this part in order to help you to present this result and to bold the main deviation that maybe we are detecting and how to connect to the process. And companies working with the software, we have many participants here that are using the software every, every year, every time, in uh, different opportunities, and they can, they can uh, uh, explain about it, and uh, are uh, a part of them are uh, 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 in our website and explain it through presentations or through uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, when when they participate in uh, 
in seminar how they use the software network. So please come to the website and see more. The software was developed in Russia by our uh, professional team, uh, the Professor Lorin Baginski, Dr. Nuri Kokotov and he, their team. And they were, uh, they are the base of all the knowledge. They understand and catch phenomena mixing and represent in a good way in the simulation package and uh, in a very smart way to do uh, that take consideration deeply mathematic understanding and the, the representation of the phenomena through the numbers that they are providing us. They are part of our customer support. So the meaning of this, when you have a question, normally they are involved, not only giving you how to use the software, more to understand what is the process and how to guide you in order to progress. Um, uh, so it is a summary about uh, what we're talking about, phys physical models. Uh, we calculate the velocity into the flow uh, with different uh, known models. And we, based on this velocity, we're able to calculate mixing parameters that are very uh, intuitive and, and very uh, common uh, for the engineers, like solid distribution, gas hold up, uh, of course, mass transfer coefficient, heat transfer coefficient, a distribution of uh, concentration in the equipment, etc. And uh, we have different kinds of companies that are working with us in different fields. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, everyone that is involved in, uh, in this industry will be able to take in advance the results we are offering you and the organization of the data that we are trying to do now through the last release of well, scale up, scale down, and now the process uh, project evaluation technology transfer and in this way uh, I hope we will have a, a very good idea in a few minutes. Okay. Users that are working with us remember that you can be in contact with them we have forum we can share with you one of them is for, of course Dr. Victor Timoven from, from Dow Chemical that now is retired from Dow Chemical but he was part of the editors of this book and with him we have a very, a very good staff of uh, Users, you can see in our website events, uh, when we provide two events about mixing, you can see people that are expert on mixing uh, uh, and using the software. Network. Okay, um, uh, we have many customers from over the world and uh, if you will be part of them, please contact us. We will uh, arrange for you a specific uh, uh, meeting and presentation for your company based on your data. And in this way, show to you that it's possible to do, it's feasible to you to do, and uh, to incorporate you as a part of our customer and uh, enjoy to this very important connection between the process and the, uh, and the equipment. Okay, what was our motivation? Our motivation is very known, but continue to be, uh, to, be uh, to require our attention. And our motivation is coming from the fact and when you are trying to transfer processes from lab to production, from site to site, you need to have some connection between the process and the equipment. And you have a lot of questions, but uh, like this, uh, the, the parameters, what is the facilities, etc. But the main question that you are facing and you need to answer because it is your responsibility in the company is very simple. If you ask the question, the question will be, what will happen with my project in the next step, in the next pro, in the next equipment? This is our main uh, question that we need to answer, and this, the company is waiting for us to provide this answer. So uh, this is very ambivalent situation because, in one hand, uh, the management is very focused in what you are doing. Uh, everyone understands that if you are transferring your project to the next step. The company is waiting for your answer, okay? And, the, and it is very important for the company. The, this is the future of the company. You have some commitment with the market. So the management is involved. But on the other hand, uh, uh, the, they can catch the situation as what will be the big deal. It's, it's very simple, yes? By the end, we are not changing not the raw material, not the procedure. We succeeded in the lab, in the older equipment, in, in one country. So why we will have different resources in other companies? Of course, it is complex because we are, uh, 
we have a lot of logistics here. We, we need to precise in very point in chemistry or biology. But uh, we succeeded. We are not changing nothing. And it is the point. You are changing. And the point that we are changing is, is exactly this connection. You are generating conditions through the process is progressing. So when we did some materials and we set some uh, temperature concentration, is the pathway of the materials and the interaction between the material is not the required one, you will generate different results. And these pathways and these interactions you are generating through the flow. The process is progressing through the flow and the parameters that are controlling the flow is the mixing parameter, are the mixing parameters. So we need to know them. And it is our contribution, our answer. Nobody will do it, only people that are in charge of it and people that will be able to connect between all of these situations that is very complex situation, okay? In the point of view of mixing and the point of view of the process. So this is our job. We need to come to understand what happened inside the equipment. We need to understand what is the mixing parameters. And after that, we need to be able to transfer to the next step. For this, it's required to know what happened in the past, maybe in the lab, what are the conditions or what are our capabilities to design if we are in this position, a normal position that we, our equipment is existing and we need only to generate the best situation in the existing equipment. And all of this we need to uh, uh, explain and to justify, even if we are in a very controlled uh, and regulated industry like pharmaceutical industry, or even if we are in the, in the normal, uh, uh, in the, uh, chemistry specialty uh, industry or no so high regulated uh, industry because by then we need to answer this question. And it's complex because it's based in mixing that is a, a multidimensional phenomena and local fluid elements interacting in different zones. And we need to provide the power and direction for to generate these conditions. And after that, once we have it, uh, we have different equipment with their constraints and we have different processes, okay? A con con crystallization is different than reaction, different than formulation. And for every one, we have a set of parameters that will be coordinated in the best situation for my process. This is the environment we are working. For this, we need to generate our uh, description of the process and the description of the uh, options in a fast, a good way. In good way. So the best, the most, more important question: What is a good mixing? The answer you know better than me. What is the answer? Is we don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows what is a good mixing, because this question is not a, a complete question. When we are generating uh, materials, we need to provide the conditions to generate good results, and it can be uh, translated in a very big quantity of money in simple deviation. For instance, in this case, a company ordered a new equipment after they had problems with the uh, older equipment, and they provided to the company that designed the conditions that they worked before that. The company understand, the company that uh, generates this equipment, understand that they are doing solid liquid uh, uh, um, that, uh, process, and they wanted to provide a better equipment, translation, better distribution of solids. So they designed it on uh, a good equipment, and they have in all of the situations a very good distribution of solids. But what happened is that they were not taking a, in account that the oxygen that had contact with the solid generates uh, some degradation of the material, and it is not good for the process. So they wanted to troubleshooting is after they design, set up, and start to work, they got results that were not good, and they wanted only to change, you know, let's change a little here, little there, we'll, we'll be okay. But it didn't succeed. And what happened really is at all the design, they didn't follow the conditions 
that will avoid the material to be well suspended. The solids were in the top and were in contact with some oxygen, even small quantities, and destroyed the material. Now, uh, they didn't understand why better distribution of solid. Why? And the answer was very simple. In the older equipment, they are very bad solid distribution. And even if they apply high velocities, they continue to have bad solid distribution. So of course, the results here are very clear. You need to take in account the physics of the, the, the process, the chemistry that happened here. You need to combine to what are the conditions they're providing through the flow. And you need to avoid the situation. Here there was some problems about the communication of the knowledge about the hydrodynamic, the hydrolysis from the lab to the production. But this stopped uh, production for six months and the cost was very high. And when you analyze what was the situation, this was the original one, this was the new one. As you see, it's better distribution here than here. But it was good for them because the solids were not in the top of the tank and not have some connection with the gas. We need to be able to compare between them because this will be the base to both what are the deviations and how to transfer my technology to the next step and how to do my project evaluation. And uh, the method that we propose many times and in every of our presentation, I'm showing it because it's part of my PhD now and because it, it was helped me helpful from the beginning of the way when I was pilot manager to now is to apply and to combine what happened here, to decrease the number of problems that we will detect once we're able to combine the phenomena of mixing as a service that we're providing to the process to generate the better, better results. And as I'm showing you all the way, only to, uh, to give you an idea, is that if we have the same composition of material and we're changing the hydrodynamics that can help happen in my equipment by feeding some bottles or by changing the size or the, uh, the size or the geometry of the next step, we can have dramatically different interaction between the materials and it is a process, okay? So when we have different interaction between materials, we are providing different conditions. We will be able, we will need to be able to detect and to understand what are the limits of these conditions that will be served, will be good for me. And it is not only homogeneity, good mixing is the conditions we're providing to my process to generate good results. Not always high velocity, high shear rate, homogeneity is depending on my process. But we will be, we need to be able to understand what are the limits of my tanks what I did to succeed in the other equipment, and we will be able to generate in the next one. And it is a process evaluation that we're trying to provide to you now. Okay. So the methodology we explained many times, to understand what happened in the lab, to consider what happened in the production, and to uh, try to set up as possible from lab to production the, uh, the conditions here, one will be able to generate good results here, the meaning of this will take into consideration the production, the laboratory, the design and we'll be able to generate a, 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 um, a model that explaining me what is this connection, what we are doing, and according to the process, that this is your knowledge, we'll be able to the, get rich good conclusions. This is the step of the methodology that explained many times in a, a, during our presentation. So now what we need now is that once we have some model, we have different situations or in this loop, we need to compare between them. So how to do it in one click and not do many pro, uh, reports to generate results. Okay, in this kind of work, we reduce the quantity of spec material to below five. Now, what is the process evaluation? Is some kind of next step after we release the scale up, scale down. Is to have a comparison of mixing operation in our different mixing equipment based on these files. Uh, and the comparison that we are providing to you is not a, a blind, it's really guiding you. Because once we know that your project scale up, scale down, what based on, for instance, solid distribution, 
we will provide to you the comparisons based on crystallization, on reaction, that take in consideration the solid distribution. And once we are doing it, we will be able to see in very fast way all the products that we have in an option and what are the main important parameters that we need to take in consideration. The, uh, the tables that we are providing to you with one click uh, have different, uh, different point of view. It can be the design, it can be the parameters, it can be the combination between them, or it can be some kind of output that they're coming from the graphics of uh, solid distribution, uh, velocity distribution, etc. Uh, and of course, the properties that serve us in order to generate these results. Um, uh, and uh, in the help, what we try to do is something that was uh, required for many times in uh, you ask us to do it, is to try to provide to you a simple explanation of why this parameter is important and why we are comparing it this way. Okay. Uh, so the help is included into the tables, okay, and generate the reason why we are doing this. I will show to you all of this now. So this is the frame, this is the results, not the frame, the result is at the beginning to select the, pro, the, the, the parameters. And we can compare this small equipment in line one, uh, this is second in, in, in two, and for this case was solid liquid is that we do now. And you see how they have in this case, they will have complete suspension, the solid distribution is the same, but if you come to the, uh, to the uh, uh, frequency of collisions, in the, this equipment, okay, in this equipment, we have a one order of magnitude less. Okay, sorry, this equipment. And it is clear because it is hydrofoil, often it's not hydrofoil, okay, and, and we can explain more. But uh, you can see here the help. And in the help, we are explaining. If you, if you click the name of the parameter, you will have here the explanation of the parameter and how it's important for you. And you see here in the bottom, we have different kinds of uh, spreadsheets that when you click there, you see here the specific parameters not all together. Or if you want to see all on one, will be the list of all the parameters here. Of course, you can export to Excel, but if before that we need to do some report, after that go to Excel, and after to export it, now all of this is read to you. And when you click, when you click export to Excel, you will have exactly the same in Excel ready to use. Um, uh, we have different kind of, uh, of uh, processes that are sensitive on mixing. I will not go inside every one of them. I, I leave it from the from all the presentations, some case studies that we did, because we need to to connect uh, and to try to do all the steps to understand what happened with the parameters that are important for the process. How is every parameter influencing my process? After that, to evaluate the results I got. And after that, once we combine, combine between the parameter and the measurement, we'll able to explain what was the situation. Okay. So I leave this results that you remember maybe from other presentations, we will send it for you, uh, that are very sensitive but very simple. For instance, in this case, we had some problems with the diameter of the impeller that was some uh, mild operation that reduced the diameter of the impeller and generated completely different energy of dissipation for the particle size distribution in the crystallization in these two comparisons, or in the gas liquid situation, what happened when we fit materials in the, in, uh, in the same place, but uh, uh, in, in different places, the gas was uh, fit in different places and how from one hour we get four days and how to solve only by moving the feeding position to the center, to the suction of the of the impeller, okay? Uh, you see how we reduce from four, four days to 14 hours, not to four hours before. For this, we need a, a, a sparger, in this case, we the ad block sparger. And how the different kinds of situations in a reaction that is very fast reaction, but generating two uh, enantiomers, they are uh, generating uh, 
uh, different results in three different equipment. And the, 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 the head of the parameter here was, the, again, my project, my measurements, and the mixing parameter that is controlling the process. And it is very bold here, and when you have high shear rate, the diffusivity is very fast, and we reduce the impurities to even zero, instead 1.5 for the minimum velocity, or in the plant between 0 0.3 to 0 0.6, that was very good. <laughs> Uh, it is the same that we get in the pilot, but it, it can be better. Okay. So all of this is the head of the process. From here, we have to design how to do. Okay, we need to evaluate different equipments. We need to compare between them. And this is what we'll do together today. We have different process, you remember well. So I will not cover every one of them. We'll send you this presentation only to remind you to come to our website, visit and generate a... Uh, sorry, yes. Come to our website. We have a lot of videos like this, a, a forum of customers that present their ideas and their way to work, a, testimonials of companies, millions of dollars they're saving. And remember that all our job is to try to answer the question between the process and the equipment and how to be to, to have a successful next step. And for this, we need to be able to evaluate and to compare between the equipment and to generate our evaluation, to generate a very good technology transfer, and taking in consideration the health, that it is the conditions we're providing to our process to generate good results and to take, catch the constraints in different equipment to find if it is possible and what are the conditions in the next equipment to succeed. Okay, so what we'll do, I will open the software, start from the beginning, show to you all the way for people that don't know the software. And then through this, we will enter to the project evaluation to show to you how in a fast way we are generating results. It will take me no more than 10 minutes. Uh, so for people, for, uh, uh, for people that uh, 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 know the software, of course, wait five minutes to pass all the field stuff. And for people that don't know the software, it's a good... Uh, a opportunity to show to you the way to work, okay? Uh, now, let's go. Uh, I will open Vizimix uh, Turbulent. And when you see Vizimix Turbulent, you see here, comparative assessment, it will change. This for me is the beta software, okay? It will change to project evaluation, technology transfer, etc. But as you remember, at the beginning of the way, we need to click Project New and give some name. Let's say I give lab, and now I have to select. Uh, uh, I have to select uh, my tank. So we have jacket or no jacket. I click there. For instance, this tank. Then maybe I'm in the lab. And the main important parameter, of course, is the diameter, diameter of the tank because it is the way that we are transferring momentum. In, uh, Equipment uh, that are cylindrical with uh, impeller. Let's say my volume, the normal volume is three liter, and I'm using only two liter. Of course, you see that uh, all the other parameters were were uh, was uh, were filled automatically. Now, when we click OK, let's say we have buffers or no buffers. Let's say we have buffers like this. We have four. We are in the lab, so ten. If I click a big number, it's changing to the maximum one. If I click a distance from the bottom, it gives me, or distance from the wall, we localize our uh, buffers in a good way. And we have not angle between the buffer and the axis. Once we click OK, we have to select our impellers. As you remember, we have different types of impellers, very commercial ones, a generic hydrofoil one, some la uh, glass line that the main important point here is the geometry. And if for some reason you are not able to identify the geometry by the power number that clicking alternative impeller, we are able to provide all the calculations that I show to you now. So I will use a pinch pedal very common in the lab to three liter. It can be multi-state, single state, different impeller <laughs> in different ways. Now we're talking about a, a very conventional one single stage, and now we need to provide here the diameter, 
the number of plates, the angle, all of these are parameters that are very common. The width, the distance from the bottom, velocity, important. I'm going to do a speak again and again, and it happened in many, 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 many presentations. Don't be afraid in the lab to have high velocities. If your process is working uh, in big equipments, only the dimensions re relationship is very different. So if you are not, not if you are not applying a high velocity to compensate the low geometry, the low dimensions, you will find yourself that you are working in different regime and it is completely different mass mass interaction between the uh, materials you have there. And, and the process will be different, okay? So take care about it. So and don't worry, it will work well. And the motor power, in this case, is not important the production, of course, yes. Now, if you remember well, we fit all the data here, we need now density and viscosity. I will use water because it's simple for me now to use. Remember that you can have no Newtonian media and whatever to calculate. And with the viscosity and density, we're able to finalize. This picture tell me you finish to fit all geometry, operation, and process. Now we need to progress. And the way to progress is, uh, let's say, that we are assuming that we have uh, solids in my tank and want to calculate the solid distribution. Okay, so immediately we can calculate, we need the liquid separate from the, from the solid. Let's say that we have 200 kilograms per cubic meter that we have solids in my tank, and the density of my liquid is 1,500, and my particle size is 150, 200 db95, and we are working in a batch, okay? Situation. When we click OK, of course, we detect that we have some solids that we fit, but we click OK, and it is our solid distribution, 6%. What is the meaning of this 6%? We have more six concerns than the average in the bottom of the tank, and we go to the top of the tank, we have less six percent in this case, it's linear, simple to see. And until here, we are happy. Let's say these results are very good for me. I am happy with the results. I want to go at scale up. As you remember, when we go scale up, we click scale up, scale down, and uh, uh, we ask about what will be the next step. And let's say my next step with my equipment is 6,000 liters, and I want to keep fixed the solid distribution, so I will go to here, I want to have the same solid distribution. As you remember, when I click there, immediately the software selects what is the main mixing parameter that are controlling the solid distribution, and I have the estimation of all the main important mixing parameters that are controlling our processes with some explanation of it. It was our last release, scale up, scale down, that guide you, not only, okay, not do, do by yourself, guide you, only remember that it is the best prototype. The meaning of this, we are doing geometry similarity, uh, kinetic similarity, okay? So when we will click okay, and we are generating our production equipment, uh, best prototype, okay? Production prototype, it is exactly the same dimension, a relationship of dimension, geometry similarity, okay? And of course, because I ask about solid distribution, I will get exactly the same. I want to show to you exactly the same curve. Why? Because I ask, okay? This is very powerful, okay? Now, not only I was not sure, now we provide to you a, a tool that you will be able to select, click, and get exactly the same results. In different fields, but you can tell me, okay, Moshe, but you are very it is easy. No, I have exactly the same uh, dimension. Good. You remember, we can go to the clone, and you will now have deviation for your prototype, and this deviation of according to your process. So now we'll, I will generate a uh, option one that it is your real equipment. Okay, and you can tell me my real equipment, my diameter was. Uh, 1,800, okay? And I want to use 5,000 liters with instead four. And uh, uh, the, let's say that the buffer are the same, okay? And uh, now this is the deviation, or okay? I know, and more. And, and you want to change your impeller from uh, 
lighting from a paddle pitch pedal to lighting okay and now you have a lighting that your lighting was uh, 600 okay and the velocity was uh, 60 okay? according to what we get and of course the tank we need to, to give according to what you have it is your tank okay so now we have this and this is a real situation okay? i maybe did uh, here one minute please 700 okay I, I will change a little my lighting with 700 because 700 to the okay now okay and now i can calculate the solid distribution okay and you see okay we have solids in the bottom is a little different okay and my deviation instead six for six percent we have 15 percent so now we have three tables one was the lab one was the best prototype but with the best prototype sorry and one is my equipment now you see that the deviation is 15 it is not the main important problem the problem that is incomplete and complete okay so let's say that you want in your uh, uh, prototype in your best option you will be able it was the the advice but you will be able to go on the maximum 90 rpm okay so you change to the maximum one and now you see that you don't have problems with the distribution of the uh, of the solids and you is you are not six but you are nine <laughs> not so bad okay so you can have another equipment i can do clone and generate another equipment with my same process you remember it's very fast a uh, news that we have that you can open not only four projects you can open now i think many more than four and we can compete so how is working the compete competition the comparison is that you click comparison or you click a project evaluation, it will write project evaluation technology transfer. And now you see it gives me some, uh, it will ask me what you want to compare. So here you will have all the unit operations. In my case, was solid distribution. I can select my laboratory, one equipment, second equipment, it was laboratory, the best prototype, my real equipment. I can add another equipment, for instance, we have 3,000 in Korea, in Japan, in India, in uh, Czechoslovakia, in Israel. We can put all of them. Of course, it is very difficult to see all, but you can select four or five, and it is a real life. You don't have 1,000 equipment to evaluate as an option. Okay? It's, you will select some of them. So when you click on PIL, the software taking consideration all, and in by clicking enter, you get the results. You get suspension uh, solids. Of course, you can open another kind of things as exit. You have here the, uh, the, the source of the data lab, uh, prototype, and option one. The colors are giving you the results. And here are the main important results regarding the solid distribution that you wanted to see. And you see that in our case, it was complete. Here we have the deviation because it's our production equipment, the new one. But as you see, that seems to be the same as I, if you remember well, I, when it is hydrofoil, this is very low. Okay. Or you can see all of the all together, the meaning of this all together, you have here all the inputs or the output that's relevant for you. And when I uh, click some uh, result, for instance, this result, you see here the description. Okay. And what is the phenomena that is coming? And what, why? And what is good? What is not good? And it is very important because these questions, okay, where <laughs> a regular question we got all the way. What is the parameter? What is the meaning? How is working in our process? And now we have a guideline to do it. Okay? Of course, when I click export to Excel, we can give uh, some name. And when I click save there, I will be able, it was successfully, so I have all the data in Excel. Let me only show to you it in Excel. I want to open this. This is my Excel. And you see here the target, the first, 
the data of the tank, parameters, the characterization of the uh, equipment. This is the, uh, the concentration of the solid as a function of the radius and the function of the distance from the bottom and the, uh, all the results in one and the list of the, of the projects. If I come to here, if I want to see uh, some distribution of solids, you can see how it's in different tanks. Uh, of course, if you normalize, all of them will be the same. You can do it in Excel. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show to you. For me, is closing the idea. So my first idea was, okay, I need to combine. I need to take the phenomena of mixing and combine with my project. This is the normal operation of business. After that, I need to connect between the uh, mixing parameter and the scale up, scale down. And now I have. Now I need to provide answers about people coming from the design, from the production. I want to buy a new equipment. I want to use this equipment and I need to answer it. And now we have a way to answer, to generate the uh, you see how many I can do? I can put all of them here, and I have all the idea about what happened with the name of the project, etc. This is closing a very good idea. Now I, we need to, to, to grow more. We need to do to, uh, to bring the data from the spreadsheet and, uh, and, uh, and connect to the software. We need to connect the software with the operation directly. All of these were working. Okay, but as you remember well, it is very complicated and sophisticated uh, uh, unit operation. And we have a service. Okay, we are only serving you, and we like to continue to serve you in this kind of uh, forums and uh, discussion about mixing. It's a pleasure for me to be with you all the way. Um, uh, and uh, of course, if you have questions, you are uh, happy to answer to to to. We are happy to answer. I will try to answer many some questions from the chat here that we have some minutes. Uh, and uh, and uh, in, in this way, I hope we will have uh, some. Uh, yes, we have here some uh, question, but I cannot see. Ah, uh, here, here we have the question. Sorry, it is new for us. This. Uh, uh, how does this product work with single use system? Are you able to choose off the shell of the of the self product to a uh, product to calculate these parameters? We have a guideline for this and we have a table that connect an explanation. We try to go uh, further it. So we, we got our next step is to try to do through the software okay, to guide to put our knowledge in the software by guiding you with parameters and how to connect, and how to present them. We have not it for all the software. It's for turbulent until now. We are working in uh, different ways to try to include them. Um, uh, uh, and uh, and it, is, uh, it is the development of every uh, company. Our uh, mind, the company try to provide to you solution for your project through the service of mixing okay and uh, uh, but it is not simple because it is not universal answer okay it is uh, as you as, as explained before that we are a service your main job is to generate materials and good project good process you use the mixing it is fundamental one it is super important <laughs> millions of dollars are there but by the end you are not looking for good mixing you are looking for good process and you need to provide, you need to serve your process with the mixing. Even if it is not so beautiful or homogeneity or high velocity or giving you a smile during the fluid pattern, if it is good for you, you will be very happy. Okay, so this is the point. Uh, if you have any other question, please feel free to ask now or to write. Uh, I see only one, uh, but uh, you know, we are not so, and we have another one here. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. One, another one. Sorry for that. It is a new. Uh, it is a new. Ah, okay. Similar question, but 
are solids modeled as spheres or more complex geometry handlet. They have issue. We have issues with larger plates and rods. The 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 best way to do it is because you are working in if you are in turbulence, okay. If you are working in this kind of flow, even in lamina, but in turbulence is more clear. Your equipment is is rotating and it is taking place in the space. So if you generate this diameter that it is representative diameter for your sphere, normally it's giving you very good results, okay? Uh, and we can discuss about it. I know it and we can discuss about it because uh, uh, don't be afraid about eh, exactly no roads, your roads, depending. He said, take care more about is it is stable because when you have roads, uh, uh, roads, okay, plates, but if you have some needles, they will breaking up fast. So we can discuss about it. It is possible to get a very good guide about how to progress in this case, okay? Let's progress with other question. Are we matching power per volume from lab to production? No, yes. It is normally that it's written in the literature and it is good to start point. But as you can see, it's so complex that power per volume is giving you only a very brief idea. Uh, we are presenting many more parameters that are completing the complete idea of what happened and the parameters that we are presenting you, we know that are controlling the process. It's part of our knowledge, the one we share with you, okay? Uh, experience we have inside the company, experience we have outside the company, we have our customers. So not only power per volume, please don't go in this way. Once you finished and you want to transfer some data to the designer of equipment or to the production, you can start to discuss about it, but after that progress with the results. Uh, other one question, does your company, oops, where, where are you? Does your company, oh, does your company offer consult services? Uh, um, this is another good uh, question. And the answer is normally we are not doing it. We are uh, helping you to do it, okay? Once you have the software, we are providing all the support to generate results. But because we, we, we believe that we are a service and you have better knowledge than us about your process, you will be, you will be able to succeed faster. Once you, you have the software in your hand with our help, that you will transfer the knowledge to us. We did it in some way. It was not so good idea. Okay, and don't don't take, don't, don't be uh, afraid about it. Is do it. It's doing a good way, and it is not so high price. So go ahead. We can contact and we can continue to discuss about it. You will be surprised about how we can progress. Can we also measure the shear stress in the tag using software? We will not measure. We are only simulating. Uh, we believe that our uh, models are good, but we are not measuring. You can measure with different kinds of equipment, uh, the equipment that calculating the power and, and so on. In our uh, experimental, uh, we are doing some kind of, of measurements, but no, we are simulation, okay? We believe that our simulations are uh, very good uh, uh, correspondence and relevant uh, and representative. Okay, so we finished to answer questions that you wrote here. I'm very happy to see you. Some of the participants I know very well, no far, and thank, thank you. you to be with us. And uh, Dr. Uh, Reynaldo Machado that was here, and uh, Dr. Victor Atiemo Beng, people that uh, uh, are with us long way and, uh, and working uh, in a very good way. Uh, explanations about Victor that is so important to explain to the to the to the audience. So please feel free to see their presentations. We have in our website, contact Reynaldo Machado in the website. They have about training. Uh, all of these people are good uh, uh, reference or not only reference to understand about mixing that it's a very important thing. Okay. Uh, people from the districts of course many years of experience together. So happy to see you and happy to maybe people renew our contacts or people that want to increase more the use for us is on our special and the best, the more important message. 
feel good. Take care about your health. It is important. You are part of this industry. And believe me, even if you don't feel you are, your work is helping the world continue to generate answers for different kinds of problems that we have. Okay. Uh, we have uh, another two three questions we have here. Does the software have ability to solve for dimensions rotor style? Yes, 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 of course. Heat transfer can be included in the final travel. Yes, it is possible. We are working on this. It is not in this version, but it is part of the upgrade that we are doing. It is possible to see again export to Excel after comparison between the message we will send to you. Okay, I want to because we are at the end of only one minute. I want to answer more questions. We'll send to you this. You will see again. We have the video. You can see there. What are the thoughts? How to best apply this existing equipment versus new construction? Yes. You know, when you are doing new construction, you have some uh, offer from your, your uh, supplier. So fit the data in the software and put it in, in the say, uh, include it in the line, in the in the column of the knowledge you have. Immediately you will see what is the difference, and you will ask your question: Is different in this parameter? What is the meaning of this parameter in my project? This is the main message. Because once we are able to raise this question, we are taking consideration the phenomena of flow. We are asking about what happened with the interaction between materials that is coming from the R and D, and we are generating this bridge. And this knowledge is in your hand, in your hands. Who is the tool that it is your hands? This is the software. Um, uh, only to show to you the Excel, you see here, this is the parameters we get in Excel and how to go to this Excel uh, is simple. Click export to Excel, one click, you get the results. So thank you very much. It is the time, <laughs> it is exactly five here in Israel. Take care, good to see you. And we'll, uh, I hope to see you again in different forums we are generating. And we hope that we will be able to meet again after the world will be vaccinated or will be taking care in an efficient way uh, uh, to protect ourselves and continue to contribute to the uh, life uh, level uh, in all over the world. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good time. I appreciate you. Your uh, uh, your presence here. Thank you very much.